guys, how are we all? So, I'm basically doing a little makeup tutorial today. It's been a while, it's been a while, but we're well, well and truly back. I went back with a bang and I feel like it would be only right to do a little Christmas makeup tutorial. And I basically did this look in a client like the other day and it was so beautiful and I loved it and I was like, I have to recreate it for the YouTube. So that is what we're doing. I'm basically gonna start with my eyebrows um, and then do our eyes and work on our face last. So for my brows, I basically just laminated my brows the other day. They're looking quite flaky if I do say so myself. So they don't really need too much done to them. Excuse how pale I look, like I look like I'm dead. Literally stop. I'd let, I didn't tan my face just because I'd just done my brows. Um, I think I'll tan for this week, um, but yeah. So I'm basically just kind of brushing them up since they are already in that shape and I'm taking my HD Brows, Brow, what's this called, Brow Tech? And basically, I think I've showed you guys before but it's been a while so let's go over again. I literally just draw underneath um, and then kind of like brush it up and then just kind of Go underneath to create that line and then drag her brows out a wee bit and fill in any areas that are sparse and then just kind of do, do a wee strokes like so and then keeping it pretty natural i like the fluffy look right now i feel like who doesn't it's so so cool okay so we're gonna carve our brows out and i'm gonna finish off with the refi gel but i'll wait until i've done the rest um, so I'm just going to kind of carve them out and then prep the eyelids for some shadow. Um, the concealer I've literally been loving recently is the Maybelline Fit Me. So I'll use this on my face as well. But I'm just going to go round my brows with it. Um, such a good dupe for the NARS. Um, concealer, so, so good. So yeah, I just literally take that underneath the brow and this is just going to help keep them like super defined. For our eye base today, um, I've been loving the Vive eye wands, um, so I use this in shade San, and you basically just like draw it on. It does look quite dark right now, but it's because my foundation's not matching, but it will match the rest of my body soon, so it will work out. Um, so I literally just draw this on like a crayon, and it is the most perfect base. It's very like even, and it just makes your eyeshadows wear beautifully, so I literally love, love, love this. Um, and then the palettes I'm going to use, I'm going to use a few different palettes today. So the look we're going to go for is very Christmassy. I'm going to go for like a gold smoky eye um, and a wee red lip. So I'm just going to use a few kind of brownie colours and then go with our gold and top. Um, so I'm going to start with a transition shade as usual. And I'm going to use my very loved Jaclyn Hill palette. So this shade, oh my god, it's literally on its last legs. I mix the very pale kind of neutral shades and I take a big fluffy brush and basically just make sure all the creases in your eyes are blended out and I just take this just slightly above the crease and with motions like this sorry I look daft because my eyes are like orange and my face is like white but trust the process guys um, and I'm just going to pick up small amounts at a time and just buff that all in. I'm just gonna do the same with the other eye. Um, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is from the Too Faced Naturals palette. Looks like this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use I think I'll use this wee shade. It's called Co Co Coca Coco Coco. That's it. Um, and I'm just gonna basically bring this down lower in the crease. So round about here roughly and again just blend that in. I'm just going to go in with the same brush and the Vive um, Essential palette and kind of mix these darker brown shades. So we're just basically building up the kind of intensity um, and the crease and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna go too dark just because I want the gold to be like the center of attention. But just ever so slightly. Kind of dragging it more on like the outer crease. 
I feel like right now it looks a bit like just trust the process guys. You you can trust me. We're in this together. Uh, shoot. Right. I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Right, let's put some gold on. So the gold I'm gonna use, very, very pretty. Basically load your brush up with your shimmer and you've probably seen people do this. You've probably seen me do this a hundred times. And then we spray. And basically because the water kind of mixes with the shimmer, it just makes it go on like way more like intense and like kind of metallic -y. If If you feel like your shimmers are just not into, as intense as you want them to, just try that trick. Trust me, it literally works like a dream. So I'm actually just going to take a black eyeshadow um, and a little liner brush. This one is the Urban Decay Blackout. If you need a black shadow and you want it to be black, black, this is it. Um, so I'm literally just going to run this along my lash line, kind of like pressing it down. Um, I just feel like it's a lot softer than doing like a full on gel liner. If you're not really into that harsh liner, try it because I really do think it gives a very similar effect, just a lot softer. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend that into the shadow. Just to put it inside the eyes and this is just gonna make your eyes look a little bit more smoky without like a full dramatic wing kind of thing. Hope I'm making sense. So basically I just, this is horrible, Ugh, I hate this, but it does work wonders. So just, oh, oh, just put my, oh, we don't need that, we don't need that. Oh, ah, ah, ah. oh it's so sore. I'm gonna go with mascara. So I actually recently got a lash lift. I think actually nearly five weeks ago, so not really recently, but it has worked wonders. It literally, my lashes look so good. I mean, I can't really tell because I've got all this eyeshadow on. But I've not really been wearing, I've got more lashes in, since I've had them done. Um, and I've also don't usually wear mascara on day to day. For the purpose of this look, I am going to go in with a little bit of mascara just to kind of darken them. But I'm not going to wear fake lashes, guys. And you know how much I am a lash like queen. But I just find with the lash off, you just don't need it. So I'm just going to like coat my lashes in mascara. All you need is a tiny bit, like you really don't need a lot. Uh, um, and I'm just going to take that Vive Eye Wand once again and just draw underneath my eyes just to prep for the shadow that we're going to put there. Um, I'm just going to go in firstly with that same transition colour that we put on first from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just taking like a baby brush baby brush um, and just dragging it underneath my eyes and then I'm going to just go in again with the kind of darker shades and then just rub them along with the same brush um, just do it super quite natural and then if you feel like you need to blend it a bit more just take your bigger blending brushes and just buff it away. Pepper Skin, I am literally loving this new toner. It is the Pixi Glow Tonic. You've probably seen quite a lot of people using it. Um, it's super popular and I definitely now know why. It's just very like hydrating, which a lot of toners usually I feel quite strip your face back. But I find this just makes it feel really hydrated. And also like just very like clean. If you get that, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, but for like moisturizer slash primer, wow, we need to buy this. It is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Phenomenal. My word of the moment, guys, but it really deserves a phenomenal moment because it's so, so good. So I basically just take a wee bit of that and pop this on. Oh my God, it's so dark outside and it's not even four o'clock. To go in with two primers because I'm that gal. This one is the Vive Skin Nova. I find this one is a little bit more kind of like your glowy primer and it makes your foundation just that little bit more dewy. Whereas the other one is more for like long longevity, I'd say. For foundation, I'm just going to go in firstly with my um, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Go in with foundation. So I have been mixing the NARS. Um, natural radiant foundation in Barcelona and Syracuse. I'm very tanned right now so that's why I can kind of get away with the Syracuse. 
Um, but if I am a bit paler, I'll probably just stick to Barcelona. And I actually mix Barcelona with a paler one. I have like so many shades in that now. It is the best foundation. Like genuinely, like if you haven't ever tried it, like oh, where you been, doll? Where you been? Um, I feel like it works with every skin tone, not skin tone, every skin type. Like I use it on all my clients as well, um, because it just works if you've got oily skin, dry skin. It's a very good all rounder. But now I'm gonna go in with a big kabuki brush and just kind of pat that into my skin. I want like a super full coverage glow look today. Um, this is the way I like to kind of wear my makeup at night time. And then I like to just go over um, that foundation with a little beauty blender and this is just going to help to like press it into the skin um, and make it look like super flawless. Then for concealer, as I said, I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me one um, and just pop that on on the kind of usual areas and if I have any kind of blemishes. But yeah, this concealer is really good if you don't want to like splurge out in the NARS then honestly this is just as good and it's literally like a quarter of the price um, and so obviously I am the bronzer connoisseur so I'm going to go in with a little cream bronzer favourite one of the moment is the Fenty cream bronzer and I basically just take it with a little kind of what are these called stippling brush and basically just apply this Everywhere we want to look broad, so like on our cheeks, um, forehead, I'm going to do a little bit in my nose and then I'm just going to buff in. I'm just going to go in with powder now because we do want our makeup to last all night. Um, I'm going to use a Laura Mercier one. I love this powder, it's literally insane. Um, I feel like everyone loves this powder, you can't not like it. So I'm just going to apply this everywhere my makeup usually comes off. Um, so kind of like on my forehead, down my nose and like my chin and stuff. And then my smile lines, I go like this. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Vive Modern Bronzer. This is my favourite one. It's so good. Um, and I'm just going to take like a big fluffy brush and apply this pretty much everywhere. Basically I'm just going to apply it on top of the cream bronzer and that is going to set the cream bronzer down and make it last longer but it's also going to add like a little bit more colour because um, we're going for quite a bronzy look. As you guys know I literally love bronzer. I feel like it can just change like obviously it can give you more colour but I also feel like it can change the shape of your face like it can really like define your face and I just kind of run this down my nose and then also like kind of connect it to the shadow um, and then just run it under yeah, for blush I'm going to go with quite a lot of blush today um, I'm going to use the Vive blush in Cherub first and I just kind of apply it to the apple of the cheeks I'm actually going to add Another little blush, and um, this is a really old one. It was from a Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, but yeah, I don't think they'll sell this for years. Probably a bit old to use, but anyway, it's this middle colour. So if you have something similar, pop that on top. It kind of adds a little bit more of a peachy look, which I'm quite into. Um, um, oh sorry, I'm just using the Vive Nova Glow highlighter, um, and just putting this pretty much everywhere. And then I'm going to go in and quickly finish off my eyebrows. So I use the Refi Beauty Brow Gel. It's amazing. Literally, I've got all my friends onto this. Like, me and all my friends love a fluffy brow. Like, I do all their fluffy brows for them. And then, they're like, Heather, what gel can I use? Honestly, if you really enjoy a fluffy brow, get the Refi one. Um, it will, your, your brows will not move. Like, so good. So I basically just run the gel through it. And then you pull that off and then you just kind of brush them down and like almost like stick, kind of stick down with the gel like that. So nice, isn't it? I'm going to add a little bit of powder 
under my eyes for my bottom lash mascara and make sure it doesn't like transfer or anything. I'm actually just going to use the Benefit Tinted Primer. It's like a brown shade. Um, really nice. And then for lips, I'm actually just going to quickly go over my lipstick with my foundation brush and I'll just tell you in a minute foundation lips ooh but what I find is doing that and putting your foundation on your lips it will make sure that the lip colour is exactly true to match like I've got very dark lips so it can kind of alter the shade of the lipstick so if you do this you'll get your true colour um, I'm just using a little um, NARS lip pencil it's in the shade Dragon Girl uh, and then just kind of outline my lips it's like a very pinky colour this Sorry, I'm using Ruby Boo by MAC for my lipstick. How nice is this? Oh, I love it. There's one colour that reminds me of Christmas. It's Ruby Boo by MAC. So this, guys, is the finished look. So I'm just going to go jump off, fix my hair, and we, will, we shall be back. This is the finished look. How I like the my teeth look as well. I am in love. It's so pretty, so festive. Um, and yeah, very easy to do. Like my eyeshadow was very easy. Obviously, there was like no liner, no lashes. It was just very simple. This lipstick is gorgeous. So I'll go over the combo again. It is the Dragon. What's it called? Dragon Girl. Dragon Girl lip pencil from um, Nars and the Ruby Woo from Mac. Yeah, I just think this is so nice. Like I feel like it's very Christmas party, Christmas day wear this New Year's Eve, like it's just very festive all round and yeah I think it's so nice so I will link everything as always down below and you guys can go and check it out for yourself but I, ha I really hope you have enjoyed this little makeup tutorial. I will be back with more makeup tutorials, sorry we took a little break but we're very well and truly back. I've got lots of fun content planned for the new year, um, really fun videos, hopefully go on fun trips, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, make sure to check out me over on Instagram. It's at Helen and I'll leave all my other social media links down below. And yeah, I hope everyone has. Will this be my last video before Christmas? It will be. Or yes, it will be. I hope everyone has an amazing Christmas. I hope you have the best time. Hope Santa's good to you. God, I sound like such a mum saying that. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you've had enjoyed. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.